Hi, my name is Maria Watkins from Upland High School in Upland, California, USA. My project, Living a Meaningful Life, Do Human Adults Age 50 Plus Agree on Big Life Questions, is a survey that aims to solve the two biggest puzzles of life. One, what makes life worth living, and two, how to live a meaningful life. My research was conducted as part of SaveYourTooth.life, a project to help young people live meaningful lives based on the experiences and life lessons from adults. I got the idea to save the wisdom of older adults during the first year of COVID long before the science fair. Each time an elderly person died from COVID, I thought not just about the life lost, but also about the wealth of life experiences and wisdom that were lost as well. I didn't have the power to save life, but I thought that maybe I could save those life lessons. I created the website SaveYourTruth.life to save the life lessons from adults age 50 and above while they're still alive. No one wants to reach the end of their life and realize they haven't lived it well. Life is too short to rely on guests check revised to get the most out of it. But most students graduate from high school without any guidance on how to live a meaningful life. Some research suggests that not having a sense of purpose or meaning can be harmful to mental health, contributing to depression and even to suicide. I want this project to both help improve mental health issues facing my generation and give the older generation a place to share the wisdom they've gained. If we can solve the puzzles of what makes life worth living and how to live a meaningful life, we can help people make the best of our brief time on Earth. My hypothesis was that at least a two-thirds majority of survey participants would agree on the majority of big life questions. I really want to get the most out of life and not have too many regrets, so I suppose my hypothesis grew out of a hope that most people have common life experiences that will lead them towards the same life lessons regardless of having diverse backgrounds. To have confidence that the life lessons were truly worth following, I needed more than a simple majority and decided on a two-thirds majority as a threshold. I was able to support my hypothesis. For a majority of questions, two-thirds of survey participants agreed yes or no. While 654 survey participants in America is a good start, I'd like more. My goal is to survey millions of people worldwide and to get closer to the truth of what makes life worth living and how to live a meaningful life. There are three main points where the views of the participants differed from general scientific consensus. First, science broadly says that the purpose of life is to create more life, yet most survey participants believe that having children is not a main purpose of life. Second, science appears to be approaching a consensus that humans don't have what we traditionally think of as free will, but most survey participants believe that we have free will over our actions. And lastly, although science appears to be reaching a consensus that the mind emerges from the brain that there's nothing like a soul, most survey participants believe that humans have a body and a soul. The main skills I needed to learn were survey design, website design, and data analysis. I had to make sure the survey questions weren't biased. I also spent a lot of time learning the best ways to analyze the data and how to use the computer to streamline the process. My goal was to create a representative sample of the human race, starting with Diverse America. There are at least two main possible sources of error in my project so far. First, since my survey was exclusively online, only adults who are comfortable with technology participated. In the future, I'll try to encourage younger, more tech-savvy people to help save the life lessons of the older generation who may not be comfortable with technology. A second possible source of error is that the survey only focused on the US. Residents of other countries with other cultures may think differently. I want to first get a representative sample of America before expanding the survey beyond the US in the future. I encountered three big problems conducting my research. First, my project involves human participants and required IRB approval. It took four months to get approval. This significantly shortened the data collection phase of my project, and due to deadlines, there was no way to overcome the loss of time. Another problem I encountered was a spike in COVID while I was trying to gather data. My initial plan was to focus on emailing mayors, but many were far too busy. I then requested help from civic organizations. A third problem I encountered was skepticism about my project. I had to prove that both me and my project were legitimate by using my phone number and my school information. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my project and learned something about how to live a meaningful life. I'd love your help with my project in the future.